everyone welcome back to my channel it has been a while since I filmed a sit down I know I uploaded last week but that was filmed in October in New York City but now it is 2023 it's March I have blonde hair it's shorter and I'm in LA as well so I thought the best way to come back to this channel is to answer some of your guys's questions i asked on instagram and i got a lot of similar ones so i will be covering those first because those are some of the questions that i feel like will answer the future of this channel as well all right let's get started first things first i got a lot of questions about my break from vlogging and yes i will be taking a break from the lifestyle vlogs that i usually filmed for joan day so a lot of you guys who might be new to this channel i have a second channel where i shared my daily vlogs and it slowly became weekly to monthly and this is actually the channel this is the very first youtube channel where i shared my skincare makeup fashion and we covered a lot of different topics here as well so I'm coming back on this channel because I feel like my life has evolved so much and I wanted to focus more on topical content so another follow-up question that I received about that is a lot of youtubers scaled back their uploads for mental health what makes a youtubers life toxic I personally don't think YouTube is toxic. I think YouTube is a creative space for everyone and anyone to share content that makes them happy. And I started on YouTube with skincare because I had a lot of acne and that was when I first moved to Korea and I was discovering K-beauty and it just gradually became my part-time job because I was doing radio at the time. So it slowly transitioned from skincare. I shared a little bit of makeup tutorials here and there and I just had fun with it. And one day I uploaded a vlog and a lot of you guys seem to enjoy that so for those content I basically made a separate channel for Joan Day. Now I have been focused on Joan Day for like six years and I decided to take a step back because now we are entering a new era of Joan Day. So some of you guys might be applying to new jobs because you guys are currently not feeling challenged in your current one or you just want to try something new. And personally for me, um, because I had this like routine and system going on on Joan Day for so long, I just wanted to kind of transition back to my main channel and start sharing about my new era i don't know if that's what you would call it so my skin has transformed my style has evolved my fitness routine has changed and i feel like a lot of my lifestyle habits have changed and i kind of wanted to start focusing on sharing new and different types of content which is why i'm back on this channel are you planning to move back to la i got a lot of questions about whether I'm going to stay in Korea or would I ever move back to America? Is it gonna be LA or New York? And to be honest with you, I don't know because life is unpredictable and you just never know what's going to happen. And currently housing is so expensive and I am just taking it day by day and I'm very lucky to travel from one place to another. So I have been going back and forth quite a lot entering 30s how do you handle comments about being single and not behind i got so many questions about my dating life how i feel about getting married am i going to get married and kids and to be completely honest with you this topic stresses me out um, I try to stay a little bit positive and say you know what it's not for me right now maybe the right person will come into my life or maybe I, I don't know I try to think a little more positively about it because the more I dwell on feeling left out and just like why am I not getting married or 
if I think about that too much, I feel very insecure and it's just a very dark place personally. So I try not to think too much about it. Um, the pressure is definitely there, but you know what? There are lots of people in their 30s who are not married right now. So I try not to think about it and just like focus on my relationship with myself and just live my life. I think that is the most important thing. Don't compare yourself to others. Everyone is different and that is okay. What is it like to be in your 30s? Now, the reason why I wanted to start my main channel again is because my life definitely looks so different from how I started my YouTube channel when I was in my early 20s. So looking back at early 20, like what 21 year old Joan who just graduated and is looking for jobs, who moved to Korea, who wants to get into broadcasting, who started YouTube not knowing that it's going to be my full-time career at one point in my life. I am just so shocked by how much has changed over the past decade. And uh, to answer the question of how my life is like in my 30s. I just entered 30s. I am 31 turning 32 in November and I feel like not much has changed but when I think about it in like wow what was it like 10 years ago um, I can definitely feel a little more like confident and I guess a little more stable because in my early 20s I was just getting started with everything trying to figure out what what my, what my passion was and what I wanted to do so uh, I think 30s um, is nice and I also got a lot of questions about like what my five-year plan or like 10-year plan is even. I will be 41 then and I honestly have no idea because I slowly started to not give myself a five, 10-year plan anymore. Um, when I was in San Francisco, I was catching up with a friend from college and she was giving me a breakdown of her five-year plan and we were laughing because because we used to do this all the time and when she um, asked me what my plan was I told her you know what I'm just like taking it day by day and I think over the years here on YouTube I slowly started to learn how to incorporate that into my life because you know Joan Day was all about like having a good day every day and so I just focused on that day and um, yeah I don't think too far about like the future. I just want to, you know, enjoy the moment. What advice would you give your 25 year old self on career and relationships? This was actually my favorite question because it made me go back in time to 25 year old Joan, which is the year that I started Joan Day. So I've mentioned this before, but I started Joan Day to challenge myself to have a good day, a Joan Day, because my early 20s with like fresh off of college, I was really anxious and very, I was definitely in a dark place and I cried so much. I was just not taking care of myself. So 25 year old Joan wanted to come out of that and challenged herself and she she worked so hard and she was very diligent she was not tired and I want advice from her now because looking back I don't know how she did 365 days that is just so that is something I look forward to and I am very proud of her so just keep doing what you're doing and don't let anyone stop you from doing that and the advice I would give on 20 Five year old self on relationships is to just stay kind and genuine. I think that just still goes. And to wrap this up, the final question is what keeps you motivated? And one of the most obvious answers would have to be you guys, my knights. Um, if it isn't for you guys, I definitely wouldn't be here and I am seriously so grateful for the love and support. You guys are so kind, patient, and understanding and it really keeps me motivated to do better. So thank you and I am looking forward to sharing more content here for you guys. So thank you always and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye! Have a Joan day!